rescuers search for survivors in the rubble after more than 48 hours. Morocco's deadliest earthquake in over six decades. So far, nearly 2,500 people have been killed, even more injured by the massive 6.8 magnitude quake. The worst of the devastation is in remote villages in the high Atlas Mountains, where adobe homes could not withstand the force of the quake. Organizations here in Pittsburgh doing what they can to help the people impacted by the earthquake. The Brothers Brother Foundation and the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh both gathering and sending supplies to victims. Channel 11's Lauren Talata has more on how you can help. The Brothers Brother Foundation is just one of the organizations here in Pittsburgh lending a helping hand after a massive earthquake in Morocco. A call for action worldwide. We worry about all the people that are suffering. Friday's 6.8 magnitude earthquake that rocked Morocco was felt in many ways around the globe, including right here in Pittsburgh, with the Jewish Federation and Brothers Brother Foundation getting right to work. We have water and tarps. Almost immediately, Brothers Brothers started collecting money for victims and worked with international partners to figure out the best ways to support the thousands affected. That support could come in the form of hygiene kits. They send about 100 containers out a year. As well as medical supplies or even helping to create temporary housing, as they did in Turkey. Fortunately, the death toll here is not as much as it was in Turkey, but the areas that have been affected are in the mountains, as I was mentioning. So, you know, just getting there and providing aid is extremely difficult. We want to be there for the long haul with them. So Jeff Finkelstein, the CEO of the Greater Pittsburgh Chapter of the Jewish Federation, went on a mission trip to Marrakech just a few years ago. He says recognizing some of the hardest hit areas and seeing people gather in the square inspired his organization to start collecting donations online. In 2018, we, we saw snake charmers and se people selling all kinds of wares, and there was incredible um, activity going on there. And, and now it's a place where people have to sleep because their homes are either destroyed or um, they're just scared because of all of the aftershocks. What amazes me also is, you know, sometimes we'll get really large donations, and sometimes we'll get a $5 bill or two $1 bills um, in envelopes that come to us. So you know that you know people are doing whatever it is that they can do. We've posted links on how to donate through Brothers Brother or the Jewish Federation over on the WPXI News app. In the North Side, Lauren Talata, Channel 11 News.